welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed a little Madison Beer Hurts Like Hell makeup tutorial. This is the photo I was inspired by. It's intense. I know, but it's really cool and I thought she looked absolutely stunning. I mean she pulls off this really heavy eye makeup a lot better than I do I feel like I mean she's like stunning. I don't really know how if you guys want to see how I did do this look Then please do keep on watching because that's what today's video is before I let you watch it Please remember to leave a like comment and subscribe if you are new here Also remember to turn on my little post notification bell as well that way you don't miss any of my uploads and Yeah, also all my social medias are in the description box so you can follow me on there if you want to but yeah, if you want to see how to get this makeup look, please just keep on watching. Oh, that is bright. Jesus Christ, amen. Oh, I really do look naked. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. I am going to go ahead and start off with my Too Faced Hangover X primer. Um, I'm just going to apply that all over my skin. You guys know I'm obsessed with this primer. Only one I ever use. The only one I found that's actually like moisturizing actually leaves your face feeling like sticky for your makeup to cling on to. I'm then just going to go straight in with foundation. It's like not matte, but it's not like dewy. So I think what I'm gonna do is just go in with my Born This Way, mix in a little bit of these Liquid Glow by Anastasia. This is in the shade Peach Fizz, by the way. I'm doing this because like, if you do this, it helps create sort of like a satin finish once you set everything down with powder. Yeah, no matter what product you're using, it will go matte once you set it with powder. Let me zoom you guys in a bit, because this is zoomed out from when I was doing my wish list video, which if you guys haven't seen, went up yesterday when I'm filming this, probably two days ago when I'm uploading this. If I can get it edited and uploaded by tomorrow. By the way, also before filming this, my hair's like freshly washed, but she had a bit of a shampoo disaster. So basically what happened is I was there all innocent. Just come back from the gym. You know, basically tea. I never managed to get my summer bod 2018. So I feel like if I start for 2019 now, then I have to have it in time. You know what I mean? But anyway, not the point of this. Yeah, I'd just been to the gym, you know, got in a little bath, felt like I deserved a bit of a rest. And then, believe it or not she ran out of shampoo and I'm a bit of a bougie bitch basically my hair is so heat damaged and I'm so specific with what shampoo I use because of my hair being burnt off I use this like caviar shampoo I know it sounds so bougie but I kind of am by the way I'm building this up to be quite full coverage because her skin looked flawless let me tell you anyway back to my story I was out of that and because that's the only shampoo I used because I'm so specific I was like looking through it. I could not find any other shampoo any other shampoo the only one I could find was from a um, about a year ago, I had my hair dyed like dark roots and then silver at the ends kind of like platinum silvery sort of yeah So my hairdresser gave me purple shampoo thing Yeah, he gave it to me to like stop it going yellow because I didn't want it to turn yellow my hair I mean and that was the only other shampoo I had in the bathroom So I was thinking it won't turn my hair gray It kind of did and now my hair extensions don't match my hair if you guys can see this is the color of my normal hair And then this is what it looks like now like probably looks even worse on camera But like my hair is gray if my hair extensions extensions don't match my hair. I know. I know my hair is grey. I don't really care that much though. Oh, by the way, I'm not even telling you guys what I'm using. God, who am I? I'm using the Makeup Revolution foundation stick in the shade F14 as cream contour. And I'm just blending that in with my Morphe sponge again. But yeah, please, basically, the moral, the moral, the mor moral, 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 no, moral, definitely moral. The moral of that story is ignore, oh, I just got foundation in my hair, so that will make it even more unmatching. Yeah, ignore how my hair extensions don't match my hair. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go back to the makeup tutorial now. I am like cream contouring and highlighting and I'm using that foundation stick and under my eyes, I went in with my Born This Way concealer. I'm really liking like cream contour at the moment. Madison's skin looked really, really pretty. So I'm gonna try and achieve that. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out. I put on um, concealer before blending out my contour because if you let it set for longer, it builds up the coverage. And let me tell you, I am tired. Since Sister needs sleep. She's a sleepy sister. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes with my, what is this? Uh, Laura Mercier powder on the same sponge. If you guys don't set your um, under eyes with a damp sponge, honestly try it. Or just set your whole face with a damp sponge. Yeah, I'm obsessed with um, this song. I know I did a Madison Beer um, makeup tutorial a while ago, actually. I would say go watch it, but it's like a year ago and I'm low-key really awkward. Oh, hello. See, this is what I mean by my hair got snapped off. Okay, I'm gonna go onto eyes now apply some concealer onto them i'm gonna go in with the shades by the way this is the nicole concilio violet boss palette i'm gonna go in with the shade hangry and mix it with bra or maybe daisy yeah i'm gonna mix it with daisy which is like a nude shade that's just gonna help make it a little bit more 
light. This is just gonna give the dark shade something to blend into. You all know what a transition shade is for. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Chocolate, first of all, which is a deep brown shade. I'm gonna pat that on the lid, see if there's any fallout. You really wanna tap off these shades. Matte shades often have quite a bit of fallout um, and you just don't really want that. So yeah, you could use a dark base, like a gel liner to help you. I'll bring you guys in a bit closer, even though this eye look is super, super simple. So Chocolate is just this shade right here. It's like a deep brown shade and I know she's wearing like a black in the video but I'm just gonna pack this on first and then make sure this is blended and then go in with the black to make sure that it doesn't get too well black you know I mean it makes sense in my head um this shadow actually doesn't have a lot of fallout so I would actually recommend using this for the look by the way if you want to know what brush I'm using I'm using a luxe smoky shader from Zoeva guys I am so obsessed with Madison Beer she is like actually insanely pretty I always see people saying she can't sing I mean maybe this is just me but I think she sings so well like damn girl you got some pipes on you I'm gonna go in with this Morphe M506 in the shade Retrogade which is this matte black at the bottom I really hope this doesn't give fallout I'm using it on this sort of brush but I want to use it on this brush so I'm just making sure to tap off the accent but yeah I think she can sing so well and I think she's so pretty I don't know if hers is matte or shimmery I want to make it matte and then just go over it with a shimmer shade if it is shimmery oh no fallout fallout hi hi hello move bye bye so see ya Felicia that's not it is it it's bye Felicia okay guys give me two seconds I'll come back and put on like shimmer shade for the lid no, Okay guys, so I'm gonna go in with Midnight Swim from this Jouer palette. Um, this is the Skinny Dip Ultra Foil Shimmer Shadows palette. I kind of forgot I had this and found it in my collection. I was like, oh my God, Mems. If I remember right, you have to spray these with Fix Plus. Otherwise you just get fallout everywhere. But oh my God, that's made it 10 times better. The reason I did my face before my eyes, in case you guys are like, this is so dumb, you have to keep cleaning it up, is because it's quite blown out and it's not very sharp, the look on Madison. Like at one angle, it looks really sharp, but I don't actually think it is so if you do do your eyes first it's just not gonna look as blown out and more sharp i'm just running um max smolder eye coal along my lash line because it doesn't look like she had a wing but it looked like she had some definition and i'm also gonna apply this into my tight line so i'm gonna go ahead and do my lower lash line does she have eyeliner in her waterline i think she does i think she does so i'm gonna apply the same this is max smolder in my waterline i'm also gonna apply this underneath my eye and then blend it out with this m506 how did Madison Beer manage to make this look good? Like, blending it down so far? I actually don't answer that. She's Madison Beer. Of course, she's gonna make it look good. Me, on the other hand, look a bit like an emo. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara. I am gonna apply some lashes because I think it will help the look. Go ahead, do my brows off of camera as well. And when that is all done, I will be back with you guys to finish off the face. In a shocking turn of events, lashes are kind of saving this look right now. I end up living for it. Is that weird to say? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna bronze up my face now with the um, Marc Jacobs Tantric Bronzer um, on a Morphe M405. Yeah, I'm gonna apply that all over my face. I'm gonna go ahead and mix together these two shades and I'm gonna focus it at the back. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just go under it with my beauty blender just to make sure it's nice and sharp. And can we appreciate the difference? She doesn't look to be too highlighted. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray my face with some Fix Plus now. I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips while that's soaking into my skin. I'm going in with the Kylie Cosmetics Dolce K and just applying that onto my lip. Yeah, Madison has way bigger lips than me because I think she had lip filler, I'm not too sure, but yeah. So I'm just gonna overline my lips to shit. So I'm gonna go over the top of that with a little bit of the Milani Spice Lip Liner. I'm gonna go in with this Lip Plumping Gloss from Soap and Glory. It's extreme plump and I'm just gonna apply it her lips did look quite matte this isn't super glossy so you know what i mean i'm gonna go in with the liquid glow from anastasia again in the shade peach fizz i'm gonna apply this onto my cheekbones because she doesn't look too highlighted this like blends really naturally in the skin so it will look like we're just naturally glowing as i said she didn't look like she was glowing but there probably was something i mean highlighter how can you miss it you know what i mean i could never ever imagine skipping a highlighter i still remember the first time i discovered highlighter i'm not even kidding i do like you know when they go on x factor and it's like i've had a really hard time to get here i've just had a really hard time but singing really got me through it it's like I had a really hard time but highlighter got me through <laughs> 
Sorry, I'm so irritating. Oh, I need to apply lower lash mascara. That could have been ugly. Right, I'm gonna apply my false lash by L'Oreal. Yeah. Okay, right, I'm gonna fix my hair and I think I'm done. All right, guys, so that is the completed makeup look. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you are new here. Also remember to turn on my little post notification bell as well. That way you don't miss any of my uploads. If you want, you can also follow me on my social medias. Those are in the description box. Also stay tuned because I have a lot of Christmas related videos coming up as well. But yeah, other than that, that's it for today's video. So I love you guys so, so much. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day, rest of the week, rest of the year, wherever you may be in the world. And I love you guys so, so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, love you. Mwah.